Hey guys, it's Paul. I'm going to give you a quick answer to the question, how do you stop somebody sharing your Zoom webinar link uh, and being able to access a webinar paid or just registered? Um, you don't want people to just email, you know, you pay for your webinar and you don't want them to just email the link to somebody else to sign up, right? I'm getting that question a lot. So let's talk through it. Schedule your webinar. You can edit an old webinar. Put your information in. And of course, registration is required. So you're going to tick it. Um, Password doesn't matter at this point. So that's that's all I'm talking about in this, right? You make sure so your registration is required, right? And you schedule your webinar. Now, when you come down to the bottom here, you've got some, you've, you will have some approval options now, right? Automatically approve, send email to Hosey, edit this, right? So registration is required. Now, do you want to manually approve each registration? That's down to you. But this is not what we're talking about here. We're just going to automatically approve somebody who signed up. If you've charged them, that's fine. They're going to get an email out and they're saying, this is, the, this is how to, to uh, the, here's your information to get in. Now, you don't want them to forward that on, which can be easily done. So what you're going to do is tick this box, right? Allow, you're going to untick it actually, allow attendees to join from multiple devices, untick that box, right? So what that will do, obviously it will stop them from being able to use that email address that they've registered with on a, another device. So yes, it might be annoying for one person who wants to log in on his telly and his, and his computer, but you can just say to that person, well, you can only log in on one, you can only log in on your phone or your, you cannot log in on multiple devices, right? So make sure that that is unticked, right? You can actually make it, you can go to your webinar settings here and make that a, a default setting for when you set them up. So when you go to registration settings here, you can automatically say required, automatically approve, but allow attendees to join multiple, for multiple, right, multiple devices turned off, right? So you can make that, for every one you start, right? So if you go to another one and start a webinar, uh, you're gonna get registration required. And when you save that, because it, it automatically is in the back end of that. So when I save that now, when I schedule it, that little tick box is gonna be here, look. It's crossed off. Allow attendees to join from multiple devices, right? So that will stop people from being able to share the links I mean, they can share it, but only one person can sign in. All right. Hopefully that helps. Ask your questions. Come to my training. Uh, PNUK.co forward slash Zoom training. That's where people are asking or ask the questions inside the um, uh, YouTube video where you are at. Uh, come and join the training. It's totally free. All sorts of different stuff. You can ask your questions. I tested this out on uh, multiple devices to make sure that People can't use separate um, links or separate devices to sign up. So it does work. Uh, hopefully, if this has helped, a quick subscribe would be amazing. Uh, come and talk to me. Drop your questions below. Uh, let's get you sorted with Zoom, right? Cheers.